this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. LinkedIn launches stories plus Zoom, blue jeans and Teams video integration as part of a wider redesign. As the world continues to struggle with COVID-19 and the employment market becoming sluggish, LinkedIn is introducing several new things. First and foremost, starting in the US and Canada and then expanding globally, LinkedIn is rolling out its own version of stories, the popular ephemeral video and photo narratives that have become a major engagement engine on Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook. Facebook. It's also updating its direct messaging service with several new features like video chat and it's rebuilt its search feature to net in a wider set of parameters. Coming to a series of news regarding Microsoft, Microsoft buys makers of Doom for $7.5 billion. Microsoft announced that it had acquired game developing studios Bethesda Softwares for a staggering $7.5 billion, a deal that can be ranked among the likes of LinkedIn and GitHub. Bethesda is known for publishing hit franchises such as Doom, The Elder Scrolls and Fallout. This news of acquisition comes a week after the announcement that Microsoft Microsoft's game streaming service xCloud would be bringing more than 100 Xbox games to smartphones and tablets. In continuation, Microsoft launches Azure Communication Services. Microsoft announced that it's ready to compete with Twilio by launching a set of features that allow developers to add voice and video calling, chat, text messages and old school telephony to their apps. Azure Communication Services is built natively on top of global reliable cloud Azure. Businesses can confidently build and deploy on the same low latency global communication network used by Microsoft Teams to support 5P plus meeting minutes daily. This is just one of a number of announcements that Microsoft made at its Ignite conference. Moving on, Microsoft launches Premonition, its hardware and software platform for detecting biological threats. At its Ignite conference, Microsoft announced that Premonition, a robotics and sensor platform for monitoring and sampling disease carriers like mosquitoes and a cloud-based software stack for analyzing samples will soon be in private preview. The idea here, as Microsoft describes it, is to set up a system that can easily function as a weather monitoring system but for disease outbreaks. Moving on, YLAB raises $4 million to grow AI and its data monitoring systems. YLabs is launching out of stealth with $4 million to grow its platform for data scientists who need help monitoring and troubleshooting problems they encounter with data sets or AI models. The goal is to help teams managing machine learning models save time and catch problems before they make trouble for businesses or customers. Though more businesses are finding ways to apply AI to their operations, many still encounter issues when trying to deploy machine learning in the wild. Y Labs was founded in December 2019 and is based in Seattle. The company currently has nine employees and emerges from stealth after initial incubation at the Allen Institute of Artificial Intelligence. Moving on, future Teslas will have batteries that will double as a structure. Tesla has fundamentally redesigned the way that its battery packs integrate into their vehicles, turning them into structural elements of the car, rather than just fuel sources on their own. At Tesla's Battery Day event, Elon Musk compared this to how commercial aircraft used to load fuel into tanks, but that were essentially bolted into internal structure. Later on, they realized much greater efficiency in how much fuel could be carried as well as weight and parts usage by making the wing bodies actual fuel tanks themselves. Coming to the last news of the day, Shopify confirms data breach. The e-commerce platform blamed two rogue members of its support team alleging that they stole customer data from less than 200 merchants. Shopify said it has fired the employees in question and referred the matter to the FBI. In a blog post, the company said the affected data includes name, postal addresses and other details but not complete payment card numbers or other sensitive personal or financial information. The company also said that there's no evidence that the data has been utilized. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.